Hey everybody, welcome back to Ultimate Chicken Horse. Hello! Hey! hey. 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 It's a new hey. recording session. It is! Do we have to preface that? I think so we do. can expect slightly higher quality <laughs> content. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, the last episode that came that's coming out tomorrow is the one where we just do a bunch of Would You Rathers, right? Yeah, tomorrow for right, us, yesterday correct. for the viewers. Right, yeah. No, that's true. Well, that's they can point. put themselves in our position enough to understand what we mean when we say yesterday versus today. Yesterday yeah. is tomorrow's... Wait. Tomorrow's it's yes... The, wait. The we were talking about Men in Black before a we person started recording. smart. People are stupid. Exactly, yeah. I, I was saying, I still quote that all the time. It's a very profound statement filled with profundity, which I also just like saying profundity. Is Isn't profundity a word? word? Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a word. It's a great word. It's one of those yeah. words that you could fool me into thinking it wasn't a word. It just feels good to say profundity. Sounds Look, like I think there's something to be said about Tommy Lee Jones' sort of stoic fatherly character in Men in Black 1. I think he was portrayed in a very good way. Oh, I lived it! I died again! I... You were living. <laughs> I lived, I died, I live again. I was uh, gonna live again. I you know, Nick, to your point, actually, uh, I'd say that there's oh, something Lord. about Mary. <laughs> yeah, it, it seems to you drive a lot of... You thought I was gonna do it, you thought I was gonna, but I didn't. Drives a lot of men to be con men for some reason. Ooh, you, I don't think you can live. I don't think you can live. I don't think you can live. Yes, you can! I did it, did it before. He did it! You just I gotta a believe. Lot of shit on the screen already. He does it? You gotta I believe. I choose not to believe. That's why you didn't. Okay. Well, this I is... want to believe. This you guys like, uh, is fucking... gonna be tough. You guys like fucking? Yes, yeah, actually, Robert. great. <laughs> <laughs> do we, are we are we refreshed on our ultimate no. chicken horse videos? <laughs> no, I was gonna say, do you guys like uh, fucking <laughs> Rob? <laughs> Robert, I think right. what he meant to say is, do you guys like fucking? That's the rare double Rob back, like, me. I hope it, it finishes up with something so innocuous. Be like, you guys like fucking the 2010 movie Red starring Bruce Willis? That's a pretty bad movie, right? It's okay. Wait, were you talking about Men in Black already? <laughs> oh, I'm in hell. You waited way too long. This is yeah, way it's... too long. Yeah, yeah. You can't All right, ready? Long. <gasps> oh, oh, I loved it. It was a good attempt. I have no idea what I was gonna say. To be honest, okay, let's move on. It. It's gone. Yeah. You got up and over the easiest part. That's true. Or I'm sorry, the done. hardest part. So there's an anecdote of Tommy Lee Jones and uh, Jim Carrey interacting on the set of Batman Forever. Okay. It's like at the height of Jim Carrey's like, yo, I'm a zany guy who's making like twenty million dollars a movie for just having an elastic face, uh, sort of period. And Tommy Lee Jones, apparently, this is from a quote from Jim Carrey, luck, pulls him aside and is like, I cannot, I don't respect you, yeah. and I cannot stand for your clownish behavior. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I read that too. That's so yeah. good. Damn. The, whole, the gist of the story is basically Tommy Lee Jones is so, I guess, old school that he can't even, like, put on a facade to be nice to Jim Carrey. He has to, even though they're working together, he has to go over and be like, I really do not like you. I just want you to know, I'm not faking. I don't like you. <laughs> yeah. That is... That this is, is hard to read, this about level. How Tommy Lee Jones I think by now, it. though, they'd probably have gotten along after the... You know, he kind of got over his rubber face, period. So Jim, uh, Jim, Jim Carrey, Carrey you know, is one of those people that we just pretend to not know about his causes outside of film, right? Like, yes, isn't he kind of... I mean... What's what do you mean by that? He is... Anti-vaccination. Anti-vaccination. Uh, he is? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, he is Canadian, so. Wow! <laughs> that's what oh, I mean. Like, he's kind of a little sad. A little too that's, far. You know, outside. it's one of those things, like, like I, I learned a long time ago that, I, well, maybe not learned, but just, just believe that, like, honestly, you have to separate the artist Fuck. and the right. person, you know? Like, I like Tom Cruise movies. I don't yeah. like Tom Cruise, you know? I think that's fair. And that's, yeah, that's you're okay. Right. the right way to go about it. I just didn't know that. I yeah, mean, no, once I you didn't... start, like, policing people for all of their attitudes and them being like, oh, I'm not going to watch that, the star of that movie believes something I don't. I think you're going down a dangerous path. Yeah, yeah exactly. But Jim Carrey, like, he's like the anti-Adam Sandler, right? Like, he's got a lot of good good stuff yeah he's been all over the map 
He has largely, except for some outliers, I think, charted better in his late career than his early career. Yeah, if you ignore yeah. the number 23 and... Um, yeah, that was really well, bad. Probably also Kick-Ass. Yeah. You guys like... Kick-Ass uh, uh, you like yes I like Kick-Ass. Kick-Ass 2! Oh. Yeah, you... right, he was in that one, not the first one, huh? Do you guys like Yes Man? No. Yes No, that's man. very bad. It's, I don't think it's very bad. No, that's like, that's Bruce Almighty levels of bad. I no, Bruce Almighty, Almighty is not bad. that bad. Yeah, you're... Well, Evan that's... Almighty is really bad. Well, that's the that's the level that I'm talking about. Bruce Almighty levels of bad. I didn't say that it was like the word. Oh, word. see, not, oh yeah, that's like Schindler's... Jam. That's Schindler's list levels of bad, which is to say, not really bad at all. In, in fact, it's a masterpiece. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I still think Bruce Almighty is bad. I'm just saying that it's not I like... disagree. I, it's Almighty not... is borderline, in my opinion. Yeah. I have you know... something to like in pretty much every Jim Carrey movie. Okay. Yeah. Is it Jim Carrey? It might be. <laughs> oh my... This level is not doable. It's very no, hard. I... I think it's doable, though. I see a line. Well, okay. I mean, let's it... let's shift to other comedy actor. Do you guys like Stranger Than Fiction? Yes. I like that. that. Oh is, yeah, that is blowing my mind. I don't. I don't That's, know what you're talking. I, yeah, about. I had Will the Ferrell. same reaction. I had. I had to think oh! about. Oh! The DVD cover is like an apple, right? It's like. Yeah, Fiona Apple. Will Ferrell holding a briefcase while standing in the middle of a road. There's an apple. Something to do with an apple in that. It's... Yeah, yeah. Well, because the the apple, like he's gonna. Well, this is a spoiler, but he's gonna get hit by <laughs> a smooth criminal. Wait, actually, isn't that isn't that the end that I was about to spoil? Stranger Than Fiction DVD cover. It's, I it's... see Will Ferrell holding a jacket looking at the New York skyline. Yeah, that sounds right. What the hell am I thinking of then Don't. with the apple? Honestly, that I think you're thinking of like... Go, check, check the DVD, oh. check the disc. See if the disc has an apple on it. <laughs> it's, it's fine. Stranger Than Fiction DVD disc. Um, it's Will Ferrell. Oh, 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 this is the Swedish cover. The DVD is a green apple! Yes! So, Sweden, you yes! can watch the Swedish version. <laughs> no, this is the English one. The DVD is a, is like a bright green apple. Oh! I oh, knew there was an apple! Well, I will give you $100 like sort of if you beat this level. I'm 100% serious. Here we go. The apple's kind of a Chekhov's gun in that. What? Do you know what's on the DVD of Spanglish? Adam Sandler being uh, shitty at everything. Tostada. I was gonna it's say, a, no. it's, a, it's a melty sandwich. Yeah, that makes sense. A croque monsieur, if you will. You know, we, we talk a lot of shit about Adam Sandler, but like, you know, the world has spoken. They think Adam Sandler's funny. No. They have I mean, no. Uh, a no. subset of the world has spoken. I mean, hey, I'm more in the for than against it's side, not, if you can believe it. It's not it. Really a subset yes. when he made the most popular movie on Netflix. No, it's the po most popular Netflix original movie. That's still. I'm not for shit. his last, like, shit fest movie, but, oh, like, the majority it. of his career I found pretty funny. Yeah, majority, I'm like totally though? okay with Adam Sandler. I don't know about the majority. Because, like, the midpoint of his career is, like, 50 first dates. Yeah. <laughs> So I like that from, movie. From 92 to 2004, you're going like Billy Madison, 50 First Dates. I'm going to say I liked his first two films, and then it's all downhill. What, uh, what was the, the uh, Mr. Deeds? That one was okay. Yeah, How many total sad. films do you think we're talking about for Adam Sandler? Probably like 60 or 70 films. Yeah, he's like, like okay. a 1950s film director. That's he is a workhorse. Yeah, I'll give him like, that. If he's got 60 films, I'm going to give him 20 of those I liked. Name 10 of them. All right. Little Nicky, Waterboy, uh, Billy Madison, Happy Gilmore. Um... Mr. Beats. <laughs> Mr. Yeah, yeah but... okay. <laughs> I think question. if you're giving like a 50-50 split to Mr. Deeds, you're in trouble, man. Yeah. All right, That's so true. I went maybe a little hard on saying 20. Maybe I meant to say oh, 10. Jesus. There's Eight click. Crazy Nights, Click. Uh, you can't win, can you? I did kind of like Click, even though I thought it's, it was ridiculous. It's a fine movie. I, I yeah. Honestly, it's a movie where you say Click, and then half of chat is like, that movie's fucking awful, and the other half's like, oh, it's kind of okay, actually. It's, you're allowed to live in the gray area, right? That, like, no, you can not see, like something and like parts of it. 
Well, I'm not going to lay in the cut in, anymore. Firstly, <laughs> yeah, I know you're but, not. So, but secondarily, the thing about Click is that, like, it, it didn't know what it wanted to be, or it did know what it wanted to be, and that almost makes it worse, in that, like, it was a over-the-top comedy, yet also tried to be a tearjerker it's a and, legit and it tearjerker just, no no but the thing is like it was like a it was a very manufactured tearjerking like i feel I like so. i was <laughs> i disagree by a you know a cheap hooker it Whereas, went really dramatized at the end yeah like it went like way too hard in the paint only at the end but how does it relate to the cut um well well firstly i just want to let it be known I'm not going to lay in there anymore. Okay, yes. Uh, the record has stop. the record is shown. I can't yeah. stop jumping weirdly. <laughs> Nick. Um, I'm serious. <laughs> I'd give it a four ah. norbits. Four norbits out of I'm five. Not, I'm not gonna go out on any limbs and say click is like a great movie. You know, I might not even call it like a good movie. Like I I'd give it average overall at best, but I think there is some legitimately emotional moments in that movie that aren't cheating moments. I just Hold up. Is Austin get... talking about movies as well? <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah. I Look, I've seen... This is the thing about movies. I've seen way more recent movies proportionally than I have, like, older movies. Any movie from the 90s, it's unlikely I've seen it. But Technically, every movie is older because I mean, they're all in the past. That's a good... But that, well, not, not your point, but, uh, but Austin's point <laughs> is actually kind of a good point in that, like... Oh, Jesus. 90s is kind of old now, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, man. That's like 30 years old. We're getting there. That's I mean, crazy. I, I are going to die very soon. Like, yeah, but the 90s was, you know, my childhood. That's like fucking 30 years ago now. It's getting down there, yeah. There's no doubt. It's not good. I mean, I see. Is it, isn't it, though? Well, I mean, I feel kind of lucky I got to grow up in the 90s. But yeah, why? Good. There was just, like, a lot of happy shit going on. Every, everybody was kind of in their own little world, and we yeah, didn't quite the have the pervasiveness. Oh, okay, you gotta talk about the Gulf War. Thanks, Rob. <laughs> Could it be, on the other hand, just because you were under the age of 12? Uh, maybe, maybe I was selectively sheltered yeah, based on that, it. but it also, we didn't have the pervasiveness of the internet, we didn't have all kinds of poisonous media coming out every left, right, and center. We had a fantastic setup of video games growing up. True. Which is, for me, something that I'm still pretty happy with. The SNES era is still one of the best. I mean, that was sort of the golden age of video games, right? Like, in the I 90s. I think that's, like, a little, like, not rose-tinted, but, like, a little insulting to the fact, like, we have so many more games right now. Yeah. We True, did not like, have nearly like, as many games back in then. In the so. 90s, all of the, the... All of the, the things that we know from video games today... Yeah, genre invented. foundationals happened in the 90s. You don't get to yeah. ever have that again. Oh. What about Rogue? Well, I don't so know when Rogue came you, out, actually. It's 1982. If yeah. you watch, uh, like, any of the old, like, angry video game nerd videos, you realize that there were a plenty of shitty games. Just oh, I'm not yeah! saying there weren't shitty games. I'm, I'm just yeah. saying there was a very large amount of great ones, too. Yeah, but and, Could it and, be because... <laughs> You were under the age of twelve. <laughs> to a large yeah, degree, yes. Maybe. But 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 again, you know, like I, like 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 I was saying, you know, and then like Nick was saying, that they are like genre foundational games in that era. That you know, games still even you know, um, reference today and use. Well, it was a defining time in games, so. Yeah, that's what I mean. I don't think Ryan's even necessarily wrong either. I'm not really arguing <clears> against <throat> him. It may just be my own personal bias that I can't escape from. Like, okay, I just like, feel like, like you battled for be... Potemkin. Is not the greatest. <laughs> okay. <move. laughs> I don't know. Okay, okay. But hear me out here. Battle for Potemkin is not the greatest movie ever made. It's actually <laughs> also pretty boring. But it's but it was an important film. And you know, growing up in growing up in that era must have been pretty cool too. You know, you see a new medium kind of come into its own. Yeah. Fuck. I feel oh. very lucky to have had the ability to grow up with video games for the most part. Yeah. I mean, Paddleship Potemkin's no interstellar, but I mean, you know. That, what is right? <laughs> yeah. Did you see the trailer for Dunkirk? Yeah. yeah it looks really good. Mm -hmm. Dunkirk. That's like Dishonored, right? The new. That's Dunwall. Oh. That's that's Dun Connard. What, what's... Is Dun Connard? Yeah. Dun, Dun Connard. What's his name? What's the director's name? 
Christopher Nolan. Nolan, Chris Nolan that's yeah. it. That's the one. It's Chris Nolan. Keep new Chris film. Nolan, 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 <laughs> Nolan. <laughs> That's what he does in that song, right? He's like, Chris, no, like, Chris, what is he Chris doing? No, no, no. no it's... He's, he's like, Where am I? keep going, rolling, 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 rolling. I knew it worked, dude. I <laughs> Last knew. Fall. I knew it worked. <laughs> it was obscured by the, by the windmill. The windmill. I had an opportunity to answer Rob's question, now I've let it slip. Yep. That's rolling, the life rolling, of rolling, rolling, what? Yeah, rolling, yeah. rolling, 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 yeah. What? Rolling, 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 Our rolling, Blake come on. Murph. You guys ever see Cradle to the Grave? No. Really? You never saw too that? Late. No, really? Too late, no, I, too. I mean, I'm just surprised. You know, it's an action film from the early 2000s. Very bad. Yes. They um, used the number two for two, right? Yes, they did. No. Yeah, that's how it It might have also been dope. <gasps> no. I'm not sure. No, it was the. I'm pretty sure it was the. It was the grave. Okay. Is it Jet Li, Steven Seagal, or is it, wait, that's DMX, no. Steven Seagal. <gasps> no. Yeah, um... yeah. No, DMX, uh, Jet Li, I believe. Do you mind if I Jet Li? <laughs> mind if I Jet Li? I do mind, Austin. I do. Yeah. Do you guys mind. little known, like honestly surprising fact that you wouldn't expect? Uh, okay. Our family would go to the movies nearly every Sunday. That's cool. Oh, really? Yeah. My mom and I went bowling nearly every <clears throat> Sunday for a while. Cradle oh. to the Grave. DMX, Jet Li. Yeah. Anthony Anderson, Kelly Hu, and Tom Arnold. That's yeah. a classic. That was back when you thought Anthony Anderson's career was going places. Anthony Anderson. Anthony people. Anderson is on Blackish, one of the top sitcoms on television right now, Robert. Oh, is he really? Good for oh, him. Man, I like Anthony that Anderson a lot. I was. He had, like, a great breakout period and Mr. then it was all kind of downhill but if he's on a great tv show then good for him i'm gonna try to guess who anthony anderson is okay is he the guy who he's was... in kangaroo jack yes i was gonna say uh, he was in a scary movie one of the scary movies but uh, that is white hair correct yes. well put together yeah. he's on cnn all the time he's in like one yeah, of the only funny parts of that movie where he's like how do you wake up dead that one that part Oh, he and Kevin Hart yes. argue in those Broken films. Broken broom sticking out your forehead. Kevin Hart's in Kangaroo Jack? No, no this about isn't a scary movie. movie. Probably oh. Scary Movie no, 3, the I think. I think this is, yeah, that joke is... There's one in Scary Movie 3 and in Scary Movie 4. Man, those movies probably do not <clears throat> hold up at all. No. Even scary, all people who are like, Scary Movie 1 and 2 are pretty good. Nah. All you, you give me, like, the Scary Movie franchise and how you feel about it and i will give you when you turn 14 years old <laughs> and i i was 13 or 12 when scary movie one came out so i own scary movie one and two on dvd and i would have yeah. stood by those yep. movies in yep. the early 2000s yeah, i and i enjoy I, I enjoyed three and kind of four so no i like three I like no three. I, I saw like three i saw three in theaters and i was like that's pretty okay you know who's like four i was like i'm done Am I crazy to say that I actually think it's a goddamn travesty that Anna Faris is remembered for Scary Movie and, you know, not really much else? Because I think she's hilarious. I mean, she's still doing stuff. She is. She's no. doing, like, some romantic comedies and stuff, but... I got greedy. Oh. Would you rather watch Scary Movie 1 or American Pie 1? American Pie 1, I've never seen American doubt. Pie 1, so that one. It's good... Yeah, I would also rather watch American Pie 1. I don't really like it, though. I mean, I'm not a big fan of American Pie. It's a would you rather. It's okay. Yeah. Oh, let's not go down that and way. Guys, of all the scary thing. movies, Scary Movie 1 is the closest one to being good. <laughs> is it? No, because like, that, that probably still had a lot of like you know topical referential humor. It was topical to scream at the time. What? Yeah, right. Well, exactly, yeah, yeah, but Scary Movie 2... You know, Anna Faris the, hands ones. the older brother from Malcolm in the Middle, a book, and it's called, like, Harry Pothead and the Philosopher's Stoned or something like that. You're oh! Like, you're like, the writers for this movie are 45 years old. Come <laughs> on. Like, give me something better. And it's also, it's the ultimate franchise for, like, okay, well, don't be a snob. Just, like, leave your brain at the door. And, like, if you like them, that's fine. But, like, I don't think they're oh. at all good. Oh my god. No, they're bad. They're definitely bad. I'm Are probably they, like, the one here bad to most likely bad? like bad movies, I think. 
Well, I mean, I, I like bad movies from time to time. No, I, but I like... I consider myself a film aficionado. But like bad yet, movies. I still like bad movies. I love uh, MST3K, man. I get I'm down trying to think of a sci-fi. Yeah, but that's different. That's, that's okay. not bad. That's good. I'm trying to think of a bad movie that I like. Well, I mean, Kung I Pao. appreciate that they're bad. No, Kung Pao is amazing, and I will not take your lies and slander. <laughs> Kung Pao is a bad film. It's, it's nice. actually, it. like, really bad. It's, it's an intentional parody bad film. I, I thought that was known. Well. Yes, it's known, but it's it's it does not succeed, in my opinion, at its, at its yes. endeavor. There's a difference between a movie that's so bad it's good and a movie that's trying to be so bad it's good. I yeah, like you cross the Sharknado this. threshold where it's like, yeah, you know, you're you're too self-aware for exactly. this to work. And that's what was great about Borat. It just rode the line just right. <clears throat> yeah. My God, he's done it. He's done it yeah. again. He's done it once more. That was fast. Yeah, that was yeah, like that was record bad. time for an Ultimate Chicken Horse episode. Yeah. yeah. Well, for now. Some great conversations. We talked about Fun movies. Time. That Probably was a good episode. We, I we love talking about movies. Of our audience. Redeemed. Redeemed. Yeah, redeemed. 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 Rob's redemption can never redeem itself, though, because it's so <laughs> ec uneconomical. Just get the witch's pussy and stop <laughs> Just thing. rotate no, your Rob, trees. Rob, uh, Mike Fox made Yankee Doodle. It's 8.1 excitement. Doesn't make people die or throw up, and it's only seventeen thousand dollars, and it gets over fifty miles an hour. It fulfills like every challenge in the game. I'm not gonna lie, that is a great code <laughs> that he made. Like he's I'm he's surprised. a goddamn like genius when it comes. He's a surgeon. That's the thing. He doesn't watch this episode, or he'd like he'd never let you live that sentence down. <laughs> he's the amusement surgeon. <laughs> I hope anyway. you give the Green Mile a chance. Thanks for watching Verdant Gardens. Thanks for watching uh, yeah. Ultimate Chicken Horse. We'll see you tomorrow with another episode. If you enjoyed it, click the like button. No matter who you're watching, it helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Bye. See you later.